This is a look inside the football facilities at the University of Michigan. This is Schimbeckler Hall, which is they're essentially their equivalent of the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. And where I am right now is kind of the equivalent of the trophy lobby at the Woody Hayes, where Ohio State has national championship trophies and bowl game trophies and Big Ten trophies and that kind of stuff. Michigan's is almost more of a museum, uh, which is kind of interesting. They've got a lot of really cool old artifacts, notable old coaches. There's Benny Oosterbaum's uh, jersey. There's one from Bump Elliott. Of course, there's a big Bo Schimbeckler display here with Rose Bowl trophy, a game ball from the 1989 Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl watch and ring. They even have his old headset with the bone label on the side. If you were an Ohio State fan of a certain age, you will remember seeing that. Little statues. Coach of the Year awards. And then you go through and there's all sorts of, like a historical timeline of Michigan football jerseys and equipment through the ages, through the er through the eras. The mid fifties. Here's what the what the helmets looked like. Over here, the story of the winged helmet. Why does Michigan's helmet look like it did? Well, here's the story. There's the helmet. Uh, and it says, in 1935, while head coach at Princeton, Fritz Chrysler issued stock helmets with the wing design from the Spalding catalog. Spalding constructed helmets with the wing design to provide more padding and help bind the crown to the earpieces. He thought the design would help his halfbacks find receivers downfield. And then he had he kept that design when he came to Michigan. So that's why that's why they have that that design on their helmets. Award for Jabril Peppers. Of course, there's a Heisman finalist. The Mackey Award for Jake Butt a few years ago. And then here is balls for all of the games this season. That's the big one coming up this weekend. Michigan, Ohio State in Ohio Stadium. But they have balls for all, you know, all sorts of uh, past wins over here. Going back to the early days of Michigan football, the 203rd win in Michigan football history was in 1916 over Marietta, Ace Western. Miami of Ohio, and it goes all the way up. Here are some of the other significant awards that you, you can find here. Lamar Woodley, the Ted Hendricks Award, Braylon Edwards, uh, the Blitnikoff Award, David Boss, the Remington, Chris Perry, the Doug Walker, but they've got them all over the place here. Lots of awards. Charles Woodson won more than a few. Walter Camp, Jim Thorpe. These are all the individual awards on display here. And yes, they have a special thing just about Ohio State tearing down the M Club banner in 1973. It says the banner's been stolen twice, but prior to the famous 10-10 tie in 1973, Michigan Ohio State game, the Buckeyes tried to tear down the banner. As Bob Buford said, they will meet a dastardly fate here for that. Bob Buford, the legendary Michi Michigan announcer for 1945 to 1981. So they have displays on all their different traditions. Here's one on the 100th edition of the Ohio State Michigan game back in 2003. That was one that Michigan won 35 to 21. on the greatest rivalry in college football, Ohio State and Michigan. Something on the 10-year war, Bo and Woody. It talks about Bo, of course, played for Woody uh, at Miami and then was an assistant coach for him at Ohio State. 
They've got some jerseys of Michigan players who then went on to play in the pros, similar to what Ohio State has. A little display on the Michigan-Michigan State rivalry. And a, that is not the full-size Paul Bunyan trophy. That is a smaller, smaller version of the Paul Bunyan trophy there. Lists of all Americans. The program covers from all of Michigan's bowl games over the years. Rose Bowls and Elmo Bowls and Outback Bowls and Sugar Bowls. They have covers for all of them. The most recent, of course, being the College football playoff semifinal loss to or uh, in the Orange Bowl to Georgia last year, and then finally, just a little look at uh, some of the types of helmets that some of the famous players would have worn back in the day. This one from Tom Harmon, former President Gerald Ford, of course, a player here at Michigan would have worn a helmet like that. Benny Oosterbaan. And then Desmond Howard, that was a Desmond Howard helmet right there. So hope you guys enjoyed that. This is uh, just a little quick tour of sort of the museum inside Michigan's football facility. We'll have uh, much more on the Ohio State-Michigan game coming up this week. So make sure you stay at YouTube.com slash Buckeye Huddle.